All right, here we are with another video on word problems based on simultaneous linear equations. And we've got a problem here which reads like this. It says, a fraction becomes 4 by 5 if 1 is added to both numerator and denominator. If, however, 5 is subtracted from both numerator and denominator, the fraction becomes 1 by 2. What is the fraction? Well, what is the mysterious thing that we are talking about here? It's definitely the numerator and the denominator, right? Which makes a fraction. So let us give the numerator and the denominator, the unknown, some identity like x, y or whatever that is. You know, that is the first step to solving word problems based on simultaneous linear equations. So what we'll do is, Let the fraction be x by y, which indirectly means let the numerator be x and the denominator be y. So now it says it becomes 4 by 5 if 1 is added to both numerator and denominator. That means what? x plus 1 divided by y plus 1 gives you 4 by 5. All right. It also says, however, if 5 is subtracted from both numerator and denominator, the fraction becomes 1 by 2. That is, x minus 5 divided by y minus 5 gives you 1 by 2. So, we've already got two equations. All, all we have to do is just put it in the right form. Cross, multiply, and do all those things. So, let's do that now. So, now let us cross multiply here. So, we get 5x plus 5 equals 4y plus 4. So, we get 5x minus 4y equals... 4 minus 5, which is minus 1. So this is one equation. And here we have uh, cross multiplying again 2x minus 10 equals y minus 5, or 2x minus 5 equals 10, 10 min minus 10 goes to the right hand side, it becomes 10 minus 5, so it becomes 5. 2x minus 5 equals 5. So we just have to solve these two equations simultaneously and find x and y and We've got the fraction. So simple. Very simple problem. It just looks complicated, looks lengthy. You know, when you read it, it looks. But if you've got the steps, you know, if you know what steps you've got to do, it's very, very easy. So now we've got 5x minus 4y equals minus 1 and 2x minus y equals 5. So you can, you know, employ any of the method that you want. Substitution or elimination cross multiplication what i'm going to do here is uh, elimination so i'm going to eliminate y so the coefficient of y here is negative one so let me or just one let me multiply this by one the coefficient of y here is four so one minus one multiplied by minus one is minus one one multiplied by minus four y is minus four y one multiplied by five x is five x so here we've got four times five is twenty four times minus y is minus four y 4 times 2x is 8x. So now we've got the coefficients of y equal to eliminate, but we need to subtract them because the signs are same. So change the signs. So 4 by 4y gets cancelled. And 5x minus 8x is minus 3x. Minus 1 minus 20 is minus 21. Negative negative gets cancelled. x equals 21 by 3. So x equals 7. 3 goes 20, 7 times in 21. So we found the numerator to be 7. So all that we have to do is find the denominator by substituting the value of x in any one of these equations. I'll take 2x minus y equals 5, 2 times 7 minus y equals 5, 14 minus y equals 5, y equals 14 minus 5. So 14 minus 5 is exactly 9, so y is 9. So since we found x and y, the fraction that we need is 7 by 9. Therefore, we found the answer or uh, the fraction is 7 by 9. So this ends this problem as well as the video. But before that, let me quickly brief about, I mean, brief the problem to you in a, you know, less than 20 seconds. So what, so what you have to do is you first have to give identity to those unknowns, you know, in the form of alphabets. And then just do what they say. They say that if 1 is added to both numerator and denominator, you add that. You add 1 to the both numerator and denominator, 
and they say it becomes 4 by 5, so you equate it to 4 by 5. And when they say that 5 is subtracted from both numerator and denominator, you subtract it. You subtract 5 from x and 5 from y, and that becomes 1 by 2. So that is all. This is done. If you've done till here, your problem is done. All you have to do after that is simple mathematical operations and nothing else. So the main thing, as far as the problem is concerned, is making these equations and, you know, assuming these things in, in rightly. So if you do that rightly, the job is 95% done, only 5% is left. So, yep. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems, word problems based on simultaneous linear equations.